let's write a C++ program to read a number, reverse that given number and check whether it's palindrome or not. Reminder and we'll take another variable sum and initialize it to zero. Let's take another variable called temp to store original value entered by the user. Ask the user to enter a value. Now assign the value of num to the variable temp. Okay. While num this means execute the code inside this while loop until the value of num is zero. Now reminder is equal to number modulus 10. For example, if the user had entered 1, 2, 3 as number, 1, 2, 3 modulus 10 reminder is 3, 12 modulus 10 is 2, 1 modulus 10 is 1. So how do we get 1, 2, 3, 12 and 1? Let's divide the number by 10. 1, 2, 3 divided by 10 is 12 point something, but if we take integer part it will be 12. Now 12 divided by 10 would be 1 point something but we are interested in only integer value so we get 1. So now the formula sum. Sum is initialized to 0 to avoid garbage value and all. So it's safe to initialize to 0. Sum is equal to sum into 10 plus the reminder so reminders are 3, 2, 1. So sum is initial value is 0. 0 into 10 plus 3 is 3. Now sum is 3. 3 into 10 plus 2 is 32. Now the sum is 32. 32 into 10 plus 1 is equal to 3, 2, 1. Now number is reversed. 1 to 3 is reversed to 3 to 1. Now check whether it's palindrome or not. If temp the original value entered by the user is equal to sum original value is 1 to 3 and the sum is 3 to 1 if both are equal then temp that is user entered value is a palindrome else it's not a palindrome 1 to 3 is palindrome sorry sorry 1 to 1 is palindrome, 1 to 3 is not palindrome, 600 is not palindrome, 2 3 2 is palindrome, etc. Okay. Let me give 1 1 1 is palindrome. Now let's see another value. 1, 2, 3 is not palindrome. 4, 5, 4 is palindrome. 600 is not a palindrome. That's it. Practice this program. It is very important for academics and for your project works. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And like it on YouTube. Thanks a lot.